my crafty crew, welcome back to part two of the Eriton Barns. Now, you'll see me dance quite a lot with my hands. I'm basically explaining to you that it's my birthday weekend! So, uh, if you don't know, my birthday is on Tuesday. So, I'm going to be 26 and basically I was just documenting that with my hands. Now, as you have already seen part one, if you haven't, the link is in the description box below but basically it was all to do with textures now as I had transferred this particular watercolor on the left hand side I obviously wanted to hide it now this little guy is Tedster he is my mum's and basically he's a little bear that comes around with us for all different types of adventures so if you're interested in seeing this little fella and where he's been then check out the link in the description box below because oh yeah he has quite a few fans and he's on Facebook guys I mean he's pretty social he's quite up there anyways basically I was just going to go through and show you guys how I'm documenting the second part of Ayrton Barnes now oh look here he ended up getting uh, told off by a pirate so uh, he is a naughty bear sometimes so be careful if you do end up following him anyways basically the first thing I like to do in something like this especially when I'm working in a journal or a sketchbook just exactly the same as this particular holiday I like to do big full pages which you'd see with my title page whether that's a full length picture or a drawing or basically a um, a bit like what I've done already so it's like a title page sort of thing I like to do that and then mix it up with these individual kind of journal sections so the first thing I like to do is go through add all my pictures first I don't necessarily think about where they're gonna go I do try and just stick and plonk them down now then once all my photos are down I like to go through any kind of stickers whether I've got any ephemera so as you can see I've got the Eriton Barnes on this page and on the other page I've got the map of the site and it's things like that little brochures little tickets if I had a parking ticket I would have added that in there they're all like little bits and pieces of ephemera that have obviously you know been collected at the actual venue so it's quite easy and quite quick to use then once I've put all my stickers and I did have to hold myself back on the sticker sheets because I've got several on this page the next thing I like to do is work out with any kind of washi tapes now this particular washi tape did drive me slightly insane as you can see there it had actually ripped and I continued to fight with this for a little while but basically I like to try and add some washi tapes because the designs that you get nowadays are so fun they're really really enjoyable this one's like a watercolor effect and the colors are really bright very very vibrant and it worked out perfect for this particular day now Eriton Barnes is a craft village it's absolutely beautiful they have leather they have uh, pottery they've got glass blowing you name it they've got it and basically I liked the colors of the washi because obviously that matched the stained glass effect I had at the front and also it's creative so I enjoyed having that on display then once I've got any kind of washi tapes and all those sorts of bits and pieces down I like to go through any more 3D stickers or kind of any cutter parts that I've got now I had picked up one of the cutter parts it says I adore this place it's got loads of like palm tree sort of designs in the background it worked perfectly with the two photos with Tedster basically in um, I can't remember what they're called but oh the stocks there we go so um, it was all kind of covered in leaves so it kind of worked perfectly for that little section and then once I've gone through any cutter parts I'll obviously go through any die cuts that I've got I try to keep all these layouts very 2D I've done some in the past and I've ended up adding quite a lot of 3D embellishments and it obviously packs out the sketchbooks quite a lot and then sometimes when you're actually kind of flicking through or if you're like at least over halfway 
and you're obviously still working in the sketchbook it can be quite hard to write on so if you're going to be doing a similar kind of style in how you're going to be documenting your own holiday my main tip would be try and use anything that's 2D that's very very flat I mean some of the puffy stickers you can get away with but I have obviously got my chipboard bits and pieces but I don't think I'll be using any in this sketchbook purely because they are going to be really really heavy and they're going to be really really thick in this particular sketchbook so that's something to kind of consider but basically long story short once I've literally added all of my colour so whether that's into the background all my photos any stickers any kind of ephemera whether that's from a packet or like I've got here the Irritant Barn that's obviously from one of the brochures then the main thing I like to do is go through the little pockets of spaces and basically journal what happened that day now I like this particular way because I've got little pockets of information I have done bits and pieces in the past where I've kind of got one side is full of pictures the other side's full of writing and if that's how you like it that's absolutely your choice but I found recently especially when I went to the Lake District it's nice to have little pockets of information it makes the eye flow around the page a little bit better and aesthetically it just makes it look a little bit more interesting but that's something to consider and at the end of the day as long as like I've said in the past as long as the photos are there and as long as you've written about what journey and obviously some memories that you've done at that particular place or you know from the particular photo it doesn't necessarily matter how you do it but that's just a little tip from me obviously if you decide to kind of scrap lift my particular way of journaling now the only thing I do end up doing obviously you can see I have got quite a lot of writing this particular place also has a shipwreck museum so that's going to be the next video that's coming along obviously on Wednesday's video we've got another challenge so I'm going to actually be working on my project life layout but I will obviously be doing a video next Saturday and that's going to be showing the shipwreck museum which is going to go back into this journal now just to add the tiniest bit of glitz I do end up using my Winsor & Newton gold ink and I ha oh, I'm so proud of myself guys I am still really really good at putting some paper down I just can't believe how good I am it actually blows my mind <laughs> now the only thing I'm doing here is going through my inks I decided to stick with the yellow because it gave a really really soft tinge of colour but basically I'm just going through and going and rubbing the ink around the edges with my blender. This is from Ranger. Uh, I think you can get a circle dab one. Like a, yeah, it's more of a circle rather than the square. But I've got the square. The square one's cheaper as well. So I stuck with that one. But basically I added the colour around the outside because I found on some of the sections the writing was basically bleeding off the page so I wanted to have obviously a, a bit like a frame basically to frame everything in and I'm done this is just a close-up of all of the pages so you'll get to see them one by one but obviously I like the style I like having the little pockets of information I love this washi tape the pop of colour on this washi is oh it's just delightful and I've got a purpley ombre to pink which I cannot wait to use so I'm really really excited to use that but guys I really do hope you have enjoyed this video and obviously it has inspired you to do a kind of holiday or a recent adventure in a journal style it's really really fun and it's really really it's just different and that I'm starting to because I do project life as well it's been really really nice just to work in a sketchbook so yeah give it a go give it a go that's my challenge for you guys to work into a sketchbook but anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed it if you have please let me know in the comments below and uh, I'll see you all guys soon bye Whoop.